Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Hey everyone, well welcome back. Quad track time. Get this thing figured out before we need to maybe possibly take it to town for them to hook it up to the drill in town. We need to do some things like make sure the hydraulic pressure is turned all the way up to the level that they want it at, something like 3,100 PSI around the hydraulic pump. They want to check that at the store. They can probably just check it out here too when they come out with the drill and the service tech. But uh, I do need to pull all the seed master stuff off, figure out my death fluid alarm, which I'm guessing someone's gonna have to come and clear that code. But I'm gonna check the filter first, see if that's plugged up, maybe crystallized because it's sad over winter. There's a little crystal in there. Whoop. Huh. Yeah, that probably should be changed. Figured I'd better look in the filter cupboard to make sure. And I actually had one. It's actually for the, it was bought for the 4440 sprayer, but there it is. So I uh, talked to the mechanic. He said to check the injector tip. So, pulling the injector tip. I'm no death expert, but I think that's a problem. Well, this is gonna get put on hold for a little bit. One of the bolts that holds the uh, injector for the death fluid into the burn chamber or regen chamber, whatever they call that, is damaged. And I don't have a metric set of tap and dies. Need to get a set of those. So, I'm gonna put this on hold. Imagine the heat from that uh, exhaust muffler and all that whole system gets pretty hot. Those threads on there look a little broken and heat damaged, so. Need to clean out the thread in the muffler for sure too, and maybe I can trace the bolts or just get new bolts. So, somebody wants some pictures of the track. Put that in the shed. Now, let's get back to uh, removing all the monitors and cables and everything that goes with that Seedmaster drill. Well, the tech's here, getting the quad all checked out. He uh, tapped and dyed the bolt and the fitting on the, uh, what is that thing called? The regenerator, reburner, the muffler. Def the def injector. Well, what's that go into? The black round thing on the side of the muffler. So that's ready to go. He's gonna dig into the computer side of it now. Just to see if we get any flow out of the pump because we got high pressure at the pump, but it's not going anywhere. Not a drop yet. Oh, there it comes. Now for the injector. Yep. Well, Kenny just ran the last test and it came up with new, no faults. So you want to clear them now? Yep. Clear all the previous faults and maybe we'll fire it up and see if it works. Well, no light again. Everything seems to be checking out. I don't, we really don't know what happened. Maybe we had some frozen death in it when I first started it up and it was plugged up and didn't want to pump. And finally it's cleared out after you changed the filters, but I don't know. It's good to go now. Well, we are on the road for a family wedding and uh, gonna take a couple extra days to go do some family fun stuff. So, here we go. Road trip time. Before road tripping. It get, before it gets real busy, real fast.
I work cruising through Central North Dakota right now. Well, he's Central North Dakota yet. And uh, that oil well site where they're pumping the oil with all the pump units and stuff. And that flare, you're probably wondering, why would they burn all that gas off? Well, it's a really unstable gas that they can't really pipeline anywhere. And it's just not really fit to be used for anything right now. And maybe you come up with a great idea to use real that gas. I mean, if it was next to me, I wouldn't heat my shop with it, but that's not a possibility probably either. Maybe it doesn't work for that either. Anyways, so it's like a lot like around home for crops here, except corn and beans scattered through it and sunflowers and yeah, it's nothing like home. It's a lot wetter over here typically. We're gonna stop at a buddy's shop that I bought a truck from, a teal truck, quite a few years ago. So no. Well, I bought a teal truck from Lions, like I was saying earlier, and uh, it's quite the quite the operation they're running here. Got lots of nice trucks, and uh, the super nice ones are in the shed. So, but we're gonna go see Lance's dad's popcorn making uh, operation he got here. He's kind of known in these parts for popping popcorn. Well, this is Jerry Zimmerman, and you've been doing popcorn for how many years? Oh. 2015. As a start? Yeah. So seven years mm -hmm. and you're almost 9,000 bags of popcorn. Show them what yeah. a bag looks like. And a Hold bag is a... Uh, not a small bag. And he just loves giving popcorn away. So he's going to show us our little process and sending us with the... You already oh made God. us a whole bunch of... <laughs> here's a spoiler alert. <laughs> That's our next stop. Oh. But. So yeah, we're taking some over to Larson's and this should last us at least this trip, you guys think? <laughs> yeah, I would hope longer. Take what it. do you guys got in there? This is all mine. I want some candy. Jerry made each of the girls their own bag. So do you have a nickname? Papa Jerry. Papa Jerry. <laughs> well done, I think that's perfect. Yeah. You didn't even measure that. You just eyeball it. You know. I eyeball it. Yeah, he, after 9,000 of these. <laughs> but you just can't imagine how potent the salt is. Oh, I'm oh yeah. If you use too much, um, that's why, yeah. It's just salty. And then I always measure the temperature of the oil before I uh, dump it in. So, so, what do you like it at? Well, the ideal is 420. Okay, that's good for us to know on our stove at home. Yeah, so when it gets. Between 400 and 450, I dump it in. Thank you. Okay. Is good fresh? Thank you, that's plenty. <laughs> Caramel flavor now to mix with it. Oh, I think it's getting smell of vision right yeah, now. Yeah, you're oh. missing out on the smell, that's for sure. The layer, and then when you scoop gotcha. it, it's half and half. That's awesome. That was crazy. Cool. Over 250 pound bags of raw popcorn. Of raw popcorn. Yeah. That is just, yeah. yeah. So every bag much. gets a number. the numbered, and then the time and date that it's popped, oh, no, so the no. girls are going to fill up. Well, we just popped, so they can give it away to somebody. Yep, give it to Grandpa and Mimi. Gotta get down and dirty. Got a little hump on top. And the first time you do it, you might spill some. <laughs> I'll vacuum up after you. But you just take the bag like this. And like that. And then bag. two of them will fill up the bag. Two of them fill the bag. <laughs> two of them. All right. Yep. You want to dig too deep and get the, With the... the old maids. Oh, oh, she doesn't fill it quite as full as she did. You can tell he's experienced. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Uh oh, oh, she's spilling Spill a lot. Spill a few. No, you'll be good. Just put it on here? Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't spill a one. There you wow. go. Good job. <clears throat> Wait. Yeah. There we go. Let's see your uh, 
your bag and skills now. Your dump, wrist dumps. Oh. oh. Get an A minus. <laughs> well, that's pretty generous. Sears skills. I'm gonna get a bunch of the old maids out of it first, so I don't get those in at the bottom. Yeah, that's a good idea. This takes me back to high school concession days. Oh, someone's gonna go right on the bag for me. No, it's the Papa Nina. It still goes the in the same, same bag. Oh, that's right. Two buckets. We heaped her up. Oh. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> Seriously, thanks, Terry. Here. Oh, it was. I've been looking forward to this ever since I heard you were coming. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> I made this stuff Monday night. <laughs> started prepping for us. Yep. <laughs> well, Jerry will not sell you his popcorn, but if you see a 90s Buick cruising around North Dakota full of popcorn, you better stop and talk to him because he's got a bag with your name on it. Time to deliver some popcorn. Delivery. That's how you guys do. There we go. It's, mor get, it's morning snack time. I was getting a little hungry. Yeah, that good. <laughs> Fresh popcorn from North Dakota. That looks a lot nicer than doing these stupid things. Well, maybe you need a little uh, grease on your fingers yeah. to kind of keep everything go together. Then I'll rub it right in. Yeah. That'll work. <laughs> yeah. Fresh from North Dakota? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Got a buddy that's his hobby is making popcorn. He sets a popcorn for you guys, so. Huh. And that's, that bag's just for me then, right? Well, there's three of them and there's three of you guys, I guess. <laughs> Perfect. <so. laughs> Perfect. We got more food? Food. Breakfast time. I heard a rumor he's making dinner for us. He's the new chef. Ooh. Papa Murphy's. <laughs> <laughs> picked up, picked up pizza on the way. Yeah, that nice. works. So. This is the, the most fun job. It's not, not good with brand new everything. <laughs> like replacing a broken side on an old used up one, the rubber's a little more flexible, worn in. Not this. Brody and I are struggling. I haven't even got one done yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got one on the ground and we might just run with that. <laughs> so if we lose them, we're not using them. <laughs> so it's like the final push to get planters ready and... Yep, we're yeah. in the three week we always shoot for April 12th, April 15th to be turnkey ready because that's the insurance date for corn planting. Oh, okay. Uh, whether the re weather is ready by then or not, sometimes it's late April. And if you May. go early, you lose a percentage per day of guarantee and the same yes. over here? Yep. Yes, I believe you don't get replant coverage, I believe. Yeah. If, and some other stuff. But oh. um, we want to be ready by that date. Sometimes it's later and you get more time to work on stuff, but we gotta be turnkey ready by that date. <laughs> if you're not ready, it will be sun, sunshine and ready April 12th, <laughs> yep. no doubt. Yep. And if you're ready, it might be the 15th or 20th yep. before it's the fit to go. Then you sit around like, can we clean can the we shop go? again? Can we go? <laughs> Are we gonna clean the shop again? Are the neighbors out? No, we're going. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll just mud it in. Yeah. yeah. But. Yeah, the first day of corn planting, you see the neighbor out, and then everybody's out in their pickups looking mm -hmm. for something to try. I think this is a uh, closing disc, packer wheel, something like that on their planter. Well, they're putting them together new, and I'm helping them out because they always run out to go unload corn seed. Well, those are ready to go on the planter now. Let's go check out what they're working on out there.
Your plan is ready to go. I got all the discs done. Good, good. To go. good. I'm glad. Man, you do have a job here. <laughs> You're that quick. Well, as long as we do like a work exchange where you come and help me then. I'll probably figure that out sometime. I don't know much about wheat or peas well, or lentils, but I just I fixed a it. corn planter and I've never been around one before, so. <laughs> See, that's, that's, that Problem show solving. us because I was a bean planter. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll have a bean planter. Like probably one person that's never heard of Larson Farms that watches this video, go check them out. Yeah. So thanks. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for coming. Thanks for helping. You bet. Third time I've been out here and mm -hmm. uh really enjoy hanging out with these guys. So Yeah. You're welcome anytime. Still smells like popcorn Smells here, like it? popcorn in here. <laughs> I don't We like got it rid of anymore. four bags and I think there's still seven left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well I got a text message this morning from a salesman that said update on delivery of your drill. The trucking company is still waiting on permits. From Montana Department of Transportation submitted weeks ago and still do not have them. I know this drill will not get delivered this week. When getting updates, I will let you know. So, I got a hold of our uh, representative, house representative, I guess, and uh, he's making some phone calls trying to figure out why the permit has not been issued yet. And come to find out, the person's on vacation until next week. Which is not going to work for us because we got to get planted. So, hopefully, our rep did something happen because they're moving one through the area today that's heading to Billings, just like ours. So, give us our permits. Can, did you just hear the word you said to put seeds in the ground a little bit ago? Uh, -oh, plant. You said plant. Yeah, y'all Midwesterners are rubbing off on me. Yeah. Time to put some seeds in the ground. Seed. Seed. Air, air seed. Someone said that sounds so mythical. Air seeding. <laughs> Seeds in the air. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Anyways, on to Sioux Falls. Go see your brother. <laughs> Well, we spent the day yesterday with Amy's family in Sioux Falls, South Dakota with her brother and his family. So the kids got a bunch of cousin time. And today we're gonna to meet up with the rest of the family in Lincoln, Nebraska for the wedding. So, on the road again. On the road again. There's the river. There's the mighty mo. Follow. Just swim up current for a long ways and you'll make it back home. Ryan and Sue, they're more the losers. Yeah, me and Amy's brother to Nebraska by <laughs> half a second. <sighs> Wedding day. Who's excited to see cousins? Me. I don't need cousins to see them. I'm excited to see Jason and Isla. Get lots of them together, huh? Yeah. yeah. Good time. Love ourselves a good wet. It's just like traffic at home, isn't it, farmer? Yeah, basically. <laughs> just less tractors and semis. There's more cars in a mile of this than you go by the farm in here. I'm probably true. Ah! I just want to document that you clean up real nice. I do. What about us? Wedding bound. Aren't we? Yep. We're kind of on some country roads. We drove 900 miles to come to a wedding from home on the gravel roads. And we got to drive on gravel roads. Yeah. It's dusty too. It's Nebraska gravel. And lots of potholes on this little valley. Well, we're on our way back from the wedding. Had a great time hanging out with Amy's family as usual. And I just had to stop and say, Good morning, 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 are you okay? That one sounds like my windmill. <laughs> well, that is at uh, Cousin Eddie's campground in uh, Myrna. 
Nebraska. If you're ever wondering, ever going through, you better stop and say hi to the windmills too. Roger, June, we're home. And so are mom and dad. Well, that was a great time we had uh, with some family and uh, getting to do a little little uh, getaway before seating starts. And it uh, sounds like the drill will be here. Say today's Monday, it should be here Thursday. We'll help get going on that when it gets here and uh, go check out Farm Focus for those new designs for the shirts. This is like one of the second to new designs, but there's some newer ones in that even. And some older stuff that we're gonna discontinue. So go get that before it's not available anymore. And uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Farm hard, pray harder, and we'll see you next video. Only one bag of popcorn made it home. <laughs>